1892, he sends his wife Met eight Tahitian canvases for an exhibit that she has arranged. The Copenhagen show is a success, resulting in some sales and much publicity for Gauguin, but he is still not happy because he feels Paris is not impressed. He becomes convinced he must return to Paris triumphantly or give up painting altogether. I am a great artist, and I know it. It is because of what I am that I have suffered so, though as to pursue my vocation. Otherwise, I would consider myself a rogue, which is what many think I am, for that matter. Gauguin sails from Tahiti and returns to Paris with the last of his funds in very poor health with a weakened heart. An inheritance from an uncle allows him temporary relief. He sends some funds to Met and pays off past debts. He stays on in Paris, hoping to see his children, but not receiving many kind words from their mother adds to Gauguin's frustration and is not the homecoming that he envisioned. Fellow artist Edgar Degas appreciates the new works that Gauguin brings back and convinces the art dealer Durand Ravel to mount a one-man show of the Tahitian paintings in his gallery. Though many of the paintings will come to be acknowledged as masterpieces, no one knows what to make of them or their Tahitian titles. 33 of 44 fail to sell. This is particularly devastating given the past success and a conviction that things should only be accelerating, but ridicule from a public that does not understand or appreciate his art, a run-in with sailors that leaves him with a broken ankle that never properly heals, and his wife's final rejections. Gauguin makes the decision to return to Tahiti, this time for good. Gauguin is plagued by illness, depression, and financial worries, and yet he continues to create masterpieces. In 1897, he receives a short note from his wife announcing the death of their daughter, Aline, from pneumonia at age 18. In the past decade, Gauguin has spent only about seven days with his daughter. Gauguin leaves Tahiti for the Marquesas in 1901 in an even more remote location and builds his house of joy. Ill and financially destitute, Gauguin attempts suicide. Gauguin's posthumous retrospective at the Salon in Paris of 1903 
and an even larger one in 1906, has a stunning and powerful effect on the French avant-garde. At last, Gauguin is famous. Perhaps one day, after my art has opened everybody's eyes, some enthusiastic soul will rescue me from the gutter. Paul Gauguin. <laughs>